Is that Harry Potter? <laughs> What's going on, it's your boy? Sitting with the Intel, and you already see Rakai is in the building. What's going on, Champion? Hello, Governor. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Listen, this is going to be Doctor Who season three, episode two. We've already had a, a a very pleasant surprise of getting introduced to the new companion. And boy, let me tell you, I want to see a lot more of her. So make sure you stay to the very end because me and Rakai, we're going to chop it up, have a bit of a back and forth, a review, if you will, on the things that we enjoyed and the things that, you know, we may be scratching our heads about. So without any further ado, let's get started. <laughs> London, 1959. No, it's 1599. 1599. Her smile was like Oh, he's really on his Cyrano. Such sweet music shows your blood to be a fire. Why wait me on stale custom for consummation? Oh. Oh. Oh, she's a cut. Come and get in these knickers. <laughs> yes. Why don't you cometh up and clappeth these ch Oh, wait a minute. Lilith. Uh -uh. Oh, she a witch. No. Forgive me. Uh, that's a layer. This is foul. Ah, uh, bro, bro. She like, She's a it. witch. I like it, Duddy. Yeah. She's a succubus. She's a mm. witch. Oh! Oh, Ow. no. A suitor should meet yeah. his beloved's parents. Mother Doomfinger. Mother Doomfinger. And Mother Yo. Bloodtide. Oh, bro, just jump out the window. Just jump out the window. And this fleeting earth will perish. Oh. <laughs> hey, we came out the okay. gates hard, didn't we? <laughs> I'm upset with little dude. He didn't even swing or nothing. <laughs> I'd have oh. bust the one on with that ukulele. <laughs> Brave new world. Where are we? Take a look. After you. You don't never be going to the right place. Huh? Nah. <laughs> it's just like, you know, in black folks, we, we kind of real touchy about the past. <laughs> it's like, you, we so got to so be real specific. Down here to be a peasant? <laughs> I'm like, Where did they even Where? rock with black people back then? Where did you take me to? You took me to be a slave. <laughs> this is not the right Ooh, kind of first date. Oh, chamber pot got thrown out. I've seen worse. What late night shift, A and E? Are we safe? I mean, can we move around and stuff? Of course we can. No, no, she should. Be, no, am I safe? That part. In the future, the human race. Tell you what, then don't step on any butterflies. What have butterflies ever done to you? <laughs> what if? Yeah, yeah. she's talking about the butterfly effect. I've been yeah. about, listen, I am black. <laughs> oh, but hold on. Huh. Am I all right? I don't get cut right. off as a slave, am I? All right, <laughs> we're addressing the right That's questions. Right, in case you haven't noticed. Yeah, see? Brilliant to the writers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Outside mm -hmm. of it in real time. Okay. I got resizing. Sand. Water to the moment? Ugh. We're just down the river by Southwark. Right next to... Oh, yes! The Globe Theatre. Oh, some Shakespeare, huh? Though, no, strictly speaking, it's not a globe. It's a tetradecagon with 14 sides containing... the man himself. Whoa, you don't mean... Mr. William. Miss Jones, will you accompany me to the theatre? Mr. Smith, I will! When you get home, you can tell everyone you've seen Shakespeare. Damn. But I still feel her. She said, wait a minute. Am I safe? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, because look, yeah, I mean, it was beautiful, but it comes with some burdens. <laughs> Just amazing. It's worth putting up the smell. Yeah. And those are men dressed look. as women, yeah? London never changes. <laughs> uh, London's the old Atlanta, I see. Okay. <laughs> What are they saying? Author. They do now. They want to see the writer. Uh, author. Oh, author. Okay, 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 okay. 
<laughs> uh oh. Mm-hmm. The hoodoo voodoo that you do. The hoodoo that you do. Mm-hmm. Genius. He's a genius. The genius. The most human human there's ever been. Now we're gonna hear him speak. Yeah, but he stole a lot of what he wrote. What he wrote. Beautiful, brilliant words. Ah, shut your big fat mouth! <laughs> We should never meet your heroes. You've got that part. Mm -hmm. Well, don't get your hose in a tangle. You'll find out soon. Yeah, yeah. All in good time. You don't rush a genius. <laughs> Whoa. When? Tomorrow night. Yeah! The premiere of my brand new. You're the actress here, huh? Mm -hmm. Doesn't exist, only in rumors. It's mentioned in lists of his plays, but never ever turns up. And no one knows why. Have you got a mini disc or something? Mini disc? You remember mini disc? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just going to give you a quick little trip in the TARDIS. But I suppose we could stay a bit longer. Mm hmm. Drink up. There's enough beer in this lodging's house to sit the Spanish. Dolly Bailey, you've saved my life. Do more than that later tonight. Oh, mm. wait a minute. And please don't ask where I get my ideas from. Thanks for the interest. Now, big old boy, and shove. Mm. Yeah, but look. Hey, nonny, nonny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. See, chat, it ain't just us. <laughs> mm -hmm. He said, listen, I'm feeling a whole new play coming on right uh -huh. now. Fitted. Um, verily, forsooth, he gads. No, no. Why is she talking like that? No. <laughs> He's like, you embarrassing, you embarrassing us. <laughs> Long story. Oh, why are you starting from scratch? Oh, psychic. <laughs> Never heard that before. And words of my trade. Who are you exactly? What's the point? Who is your delicious blackamoor? Yeah! <laughs> Who's blackamoor? An Ethiop girl, a suave, a queen of Africa. Can't believe it. Me. Political correctness gone mad. <laughs> He's from a different time, man. Mm -hmm. Work to your schedule. You work to mine. The mm. script now. I can't. Then tomorrow's performance is cancelled. Let me go get a little voodoo doll of you, my guy. Thing I do. Love's labor's mm. one will never be played. Dang, bro. Chill out. Breathe. Oh. Sorry, sir. Begging your pardon, sir. Why don't you do that? I need some of that hair. Water dumps the fist as flame. Drown sound girls and boys the same. Was he going to suffocate? And... Uh, ah. mm, 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 ah. mm. And why are you telling them that? It's not still at one foot in the dark ages. If I tell them the truth, they'll panic and think it was witchcraft. Okay, what was it then? Witchcraft. <laughs> You look like Shakespeare's outfit. Shakespeare looked like a uh, like a medieval Han Solo, don't he? Land <laughs> of Fredonia, where a woman can be a doctor. Where a woman can do what she likes. And you, sir, doctor, how can a man so young have eyes so old? I do a lot of reading. <laughs> and you, you look at him like you're surprised he exists. He's as much of a puzzle to you as he is to me. I think we should take a night. He's pretty observant. I mean, you know, arguably one of the greatest playwrights to ever do it. Oh, um, contains Venusian spearmint. So, who's going where? I mean, is anyone bed? Come on, manage, come on. Yeah, come on, hop on. Yeah, come on. That thing is probably flea written. Of course it isn't. Well, how am I supposed to know? I've only just started believing in time travel. Give me a break. Looks like witchcraft, but it isn't. Can't be. You're going to stand there all night. Yeah, come on in. <laughs> it sounds like I got to tell you. Yeah. Ugh, this bed ain't going to warm itself. I know. He's patting that little spot. Come on, girl. <laughs> There's such a thing as psychic energy, but a human couldn't channel it like that. No one had a generator the size of Taunton. I think we'd have spotted that. No. 
Well, that bed sound like it's hard. I mean, all I can think about is the bed bugs and the fleas. Right. <laughs> the face, and I can't see it. Ooh, not focus on what's staring yeah, you right in the face. Yeah, right now. Uh, look, ah. Uh, Come on. See? R R R R Riz went to zero. <sighs> still, help me out. No, no, but still, man. Take it back home tomorrow. Great. Bruh, read the room, man. <laughs> read the room. Listen. <laughs> I would not have made that mistake. <laughs> uh, she just hit him off with that P PCP. She just hit him off with that. That's crazy. Is this London or New Orleans? <laughs> Just in time for your special treat. Alright. Not the first thing. Mm. What was that? <laughs> yeah. She died of fright. Doctor? What did you say? A witch. On a broom. Flying away. <laughs> mm -hmm. Accusing me? No, but I saw a witch. Big as you like. Flying, cackling away, and you've written about witches. I have. When was that? No. Yet. Mm-hmm. Come on, the architect. The architect! The glow! Come on! The columns there, right? 14 sides. So he hasn't written about them yet. You can change people's minds just with words in this place. Mm-hmm. And if you exaggerate them. So... And David Tennant knows that because he's a... He's a theater actor. Month after finishing this place, lost his mind. Why? What happened? Started raving about witches, hearing voices babbling. His mind was addled. Bro, you should have brought that up a while ago. <laughs> yeah, start with that next time, my guy. <laughs> Doctors, writers, actors. This country grew up by a woman. Ah, uh, she's royal. That's God's business. Though you are a royal beauty. Whoa, Nelly. Mm. Oh, he's with the Shakespeare. Don't miss. By all the saints. It's a spirit. What? Man, I, I think we should never speak of this again. I would have thrown those pages down on the ground. Yep. I'd be like, yep, we're not saying that page. I don't no. care what he wrote. <laughs> I didn't know. I'm sorry. Let me question everything. The futility of this fleeting existence to be or not to be. Oh. Ooh, I mean, he's <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the pretentious me. A little bit. That's all right though. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wouldn't be mad if uh, Shakespeare was a reoccurring character. I know that's not gonna happen, but he's doing all right. Mm -hmm. Think of it dangerous, my lord. I don't know their own strength. I think it helps if you don't whip them. Now get out. They be talking shop to him. Peter Street. He's the same as he was. You'll get nothing out of him. Peter. His dental plan is the worst. <laughs> Just one touch. <laughs> Girl, get this sonic screwdriver to your Some poor, fragile mortals. Let's go! <laughs> yeah. Well, the whole building shouting that. Who would die first? <laughs> <laughs> the 14 stars of the Great Soul Planetary Configuration. Creature, I name you. Carry a knight. Ah! Oh, hey. You know, name somebody? What did you do? I named her. The power of a name. That's all magic. The carrier knights use words instead. Use them for what? The end of the world. The carrier knights. He spoke our name. <gasps> then he will know death. He will perish at my hand. She's like, uh uh. She's like, I got this. I got some hoodoo. Mm -hmm. The right combination of words spoken in the right place with the shape of the globe is an energy converter. The play is the thing. And yes, you can have that. 
All these years, I've been the cleverest man around. Next to you, I know nothing. Well, don't complain. No, it's marvellous. Good luck, Doctor. Good luck, Shakespeare. <laughs> that! Wait a minute. That's one of mine. Oh, just shift! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, but stop. This performance must end immediately. Oh, everyone's a critic. I have the doll. I'm sorry. You'll get a refund. But this play must not be performed. Dang. Did I kill her? There is wow. no one can stop us now. Mm -mm. <laughs> Horribly. <laughs> oh, how to explain the mechanics of the infinite temporal flux. I know. Back to the future. It's like Back to the Future. The film. No, the novelization. Yes, the film. <laughs> Which house? Mm -hmm. I've said that one. And that's quite inviting. <laughs> Which house? See what you did there. I take it we're expected. Oh, I think death has been waiting for you a very long time. All right then. Mm. It's my turn. Uh oh. Oh. I name thee Carrionite. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. I gaze upon this bag of bones, and now I name thee Martha Jones. What have you done? It's curious. The name has less impact. She's somehow out of her time. That's for you, sir, Doctor. You don't know my name. There is no name. That's right, you don't know my name. You don't know me. <laughs> what for me? But your heart grows cold. The north wind blows and carries down the distant rose. Oh, oh, that's mm. grief without measure. Madness enough to allow us entrance. How many of you? Just the three. But the play tonight shall restore the rest. She's telling everything. I mean, I you know, like bad guy monologue. Too. Yeah, <laughs> it's bad guy monologue. <laughs> He just ask a question, she just give it up, like, mm. Mm. Busy schedule, but first, you've got to get past me. Oh, that should be a pleasure. No problem. You might call that magic, I'd call that a DNA replication module. What use is your science now? Ah! <laughs> mm-hmm. Damn. Got DNA you. replication margin. She got a voodoo doll. How do you people cope? I've got it. The other one started. Hit me. Hit me on the chest. That's... Other side. Yeah, I was about to say. That's kind of. <laughs> ah, lovely. There we go. Bada boom. Well, what are you standing there for? Come on. The go. <laughs> It's out of season to be heavy disposed. It is now, my mother's. The final words to activate the Tetradacacon. The Tetradacacon. <laughs> Stage door! <laughs> That's a big dummy. He just out here just saying words. Mm. I think that was it, yeah. I said stop the play. I hit my head. Yeah, I don't got it, you'll go bald. That's my cue. Yeah. <laughs> Why can't he do something with the sonic screwdriver? Like, is that Harry Potter? <laughs> 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 hey, hit her with an expelliarmus. <laughs> that is hilarious. And we're never doing that play again. Standing ovation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I bet the queen will show up to the next one now. <laughs> that, that was the first show with special effects. <laughs> I think it was all special effects. Your effect is special indeed. <laughs> I heard that. This I is heard like that. Oh, whatever. <laughs> 
Yeah, break that or something. Bust it on the ground. Oh! Oh, they got Superman. Mm -hmm. Phantom Zone. Phantom Zone, yeah, that's what I, that's what I was trying to find. <laughs> and I say, a heart for a heart, and a deer for a deer. All right, Doc, get your girl to. Shakespeare walks into a pub and the landlord says, Oi, mate, you're bad. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> Doesn't make sense, mind you, but never mind that. Yeah, look! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Queen Elizabeth the First! Doctor! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did she put him out? yeah. Off with his head! What? Well, never mind what! Run! Stop it! <laughs> 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 The, the the queen, she didn't forget. She nah. said, didn't I banish you? Mm -hmm. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're gonna see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you wanna watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Sintel. Become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix, HBO Max, or Disney Plus subscription, so you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a little time with a small reference video at the bottom of the screen to help you sync up the footage. And it'll be like you're watching it with your favorite pals from the internet. <laughs> All right, that that was another uh, another pretty good episode. You know, I'm I'm liking mm -hmm. the pacing. I'm liking what they're, what they're kind of doing. The humor is is pretty on the money. Um, you could just tell that you know the the series as a whole is just doing good. You know, they they must be making money. Because the production value seems to be better, the writing seems to be better, and the the mm -hmm. I think the thing that's most interesting to me is just the chemistry between David Tennant uh, and Freeman Ngoyme. I think that's how I'm saying her name. I'm sure I'm, I'm butchering it. I'm sure I am. Uh, but they, no, they've got really good chemistry really Steve, quickly. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think her last name is Steed, but I don't know. Um, okay. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> see what you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Da -da -da. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do agree. I think um, for us to have just met Martha, mm -hmm. um, he and her have great chemistry. Um, and, you know, and it's a different type of chemistry because yes. it does seem like she's a little bit smitten with him. I mean, because he did hit her with the, you know what I'm saying, the the ninth level uh, Riz. Uh, uh, but she's not like head over heels for him like Rose was, you know what I'm saying? She's, uh, and the thing about Rose, Rose was uh, 19. She didn't have any really direction. She worked, a, you know, as a retail clerk in a, in a, in a shop mm -hmm. or whatever. This woman's a little bit more mature. She was uh, studying to be a doctor. Um, so it's a different type of experience there, a different type of life experiences. So, uh, I don't know. They're going to have a very different chemistry and I'm really looking forward to seeing what is going to come of this, uh, new companionship over this season. So yeah, I'm, I'm liking where we're at so far. Yeah. Yeah. I thought, um, I think another, uh, great highlight of this particular episode is, uh, it was Shakespeare. Shakespeare was was great. He was funny. He was witty. You know, they definitely, mm -hmm. you know, they they definitely made him uh, more, more handsome than some of the old school pictures that would, that depicted him before with you know the big gigantic uh, hole in his moon roof. <laughs> you know, but here's the thing too, and I understand why they did that because to do a visual show, mm -hmm. it's hard for brilliance to come across on the screen. And be for people to be uh, completely enamored, just taken by that brilliance. Yeah. I'm sure that, you know, as long as he wasn't probably, I don't know, if, if he was pompous or arrogant, right? then it would have came off, you know, very wrong. But if he wasn't that, then, then he would have been the most popular guy, you know, the guy that walks in a room and takes all the air out of the room where mm. everybody stops and be like, man, who the hell is that? Yeah. Um, so... 
to show him as a, you know, like I said, he looked like a, to me, he looked like a medieval Han Solo. <laughs> just a just a just a cool ass dude. He walked in the room, he's mm-hmm. like, hey, that dude got swag right there. And then he start talking, you like, hey, dude, dude got it. And then you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the the uh the lady who ran the inn, you know what I'm saying? She couldn't wait for she couldn't wait for a little bit later for him to clap his dying cheeks. <laughs> you know? He saw Martha and he was like, Listen, my um my beautiful black Nubian queen, yeah. listen, I'm trying to <laughs> trying to put some milk in that coffee. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, gotta, he ain't trying to be PC for nobody. Yeah. He's like, I call yeah. it how I see it. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I ain't seen one like you before. I'm yeah. trying to put some cream on yeah. that coffee right there. He's like, listen, I like them foreigns. Let me let you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yo, here's another thing, um, a testament to how I've how I think we're noticing the the writing changing as well. Like a lot of times we'll have questions and, you know, you kind of just got to charge it to who being who and kind of like keep mm-hmm. it moving. And we had a question in the beginning. As soon as she gets back, uh, as soon as Martha's back in time, she's like, yo, am I safe? And she's like, eh, mm-hmm. well, you know, he's like, no, 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 no. Am I safe? <laughs> like, yeah, she said, I'm not trying to, so am I going to drag me off to slavery? Or <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yo, they finally wrote what we've all been thinking. <laughs> so no, that, but the fact, did you hear the answer he gave her though? He said, no, nah, no, nah, you good. Just walk around like you own the place. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know, you know. here's here's a question I had uh, along that, and I'm so glad that they answered that because that was the first question that came to our our minds of, uh, you know, you go back in the past, that is an instant, uh-oh, this yeah. is not a safe time for me. Yeah, past um, is a touchy spot for us. <laughs> you know, it's, it's hard enough in the current year where it is. You take us back in the past, it's like, listen, mm. you brought me back here, I ain't got no gats, I ain't got nothing, I got to defend myself. Uh, I am surprised that no one questioned their outfits. Yeah. Like, you know, like maybe the doctor could have got away with his, but I mean, Martha got on jeans. She got on a, a leather jacket. Looking good. Like, she's <sighs> cool. She looks like she's, you know what I'm saying, a nice night out. That's a first date kind of outfit. Yeah. Didn't nobody say nothing about it. Nah. Nah. Um, this one, this episode dealt with, uh, dealt with uh, voodoo, potentially, or witchcraft. And uh, mm-hmm. we've seen this explained before. I think they've done it. And, and Thor was the movie that really brought it out. And it was like magic is just science that hasn't been explained yet. And they kind of like threw that out there as well um, to kind of justify some of the some of the stuff that some of the witches are doing. But it did remind me of a time when I was when I was a youngin, and um, and I was <laughs> I had, a, I had a homeboy from from New Orleans, and uh, he was really really sensitive about about women putting. Uh, her putting their fingers through his hair and he said oh we used to always oh, yeah. just laugh mm-hmm. about it and he was like nah man you'll never let you know a woman that you don't know touch your hair and i'm not i'm not from louisiana at the time i'm from the south but you know that that part of the hoodoo didn't really didn't really get that far up north to to, to tennessee but apparently you know that that's a thing from a woman that you don't know like we was at a club or at a bar and every woman tried to like rub her fingers through like let's just say like yo locks for kai it's like oh no hand, hands off the no. hair <laughs> i don't know you like that and because that's, a, of that. that's a no-no for that's a no-no for black people anyway yeah. you know what i'm saying most yeah. guys most guys let it go because we don't have the kind of hair like women have. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like even from back in the day, the good old 90s or whatever, you had a high top fade. Yeah. Ain't no woman putting her hand on your head. No, no. Hold on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and now I got, now I got locks and I am, uh, uh, I was talking to uh, one of my buddies the other day and he's like, man, look how long your hair is. And I was like, is it? I said, I don't, I don't see it or whatever. And he's like, man, shut up. And I was like, what? <laughs> he's like, he's like, ain't all of us blessed to even have her wow. at this age or whatever. And I, I was the like, hole I, in the moon roof, I, 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 I was like, <laughs> I don't even be thinking about it. And I was like, you know. So, Some of us got to let it go. Some of us yeah. is all I'm saying. <laughs> and I, and I get it. And I, and I do, I do find that I am blessed in that my dad's DNA. Um, you know, my, uh, my brother, uh, it, for that part anyway he's got a little bit of my mom's dna mm-hmm. and uh he's a couple years younger than me but um yeah the sunroof is starting to oh, open up in the top of his drone <laughs> and he's 
Yeah, yeah, he's holding. He's holding on. He is holding on Ooh. for dear life, oh. and I get it. But I mean, I wouldn't let. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I don't even know what the intimacy level would have to be for me to let a woman run her hair through, uh, run her hands through my hair right now. Yeah. Um, but I used to live in Louisiana, mm -hmm. uh, down in uh, Bossier, uh Bossier City, Shreveport. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Um, and <laughs> I remember uh, when I was a young, very young man. We were in, uh, we were in Nolens, mm -hmm. and I saw the damnedest thing I ever saw. Once this, uh, we were on the street, walking down the street, and uh, this guy, just pickpocket or whatever, he ran by uh, this this old lady, stole a purse right in broad daylight. Mm. He was running off down the street. He was gone. Listen, we were too far away to hear what she said, but mm -hmm. she raised her hand at him. Mm -hmm. This some old, you know, this some old color purple, you know, <laughs> right by me, you, you know, yeah. <laughs> and listen, old dude stopped mid run, just stopped. She kept walking, took her purse off his arm, kept on walking, got around the corner, and dude just fell out. What? And I'm, I'm like, yes. I'm like, dead, 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 dead. What was that? What was that? He said, keep walking, son. Keep walking. <laughs> keep, keep walking. walking. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it wasn't until later, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to say, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I'm a man of the Lord. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say that that was the hoodoo. <laughs> but it was one of the strangest things I've ever seen in my life. What do you say? Science that we can't explain yet? Yeah. Listen. <laughs> that is unex unexplained, and I'm just going to leave it at that. Like, you know, it's just one of those things. I don't fool with it. No. I don't watch no movies that got it. Like, I'm, none of that. None of that. No. Oh, yo. No, thank you for that, man. Oh, I know we, we could probably go on with it because in the South, you see some interesting things in the South. And, yeah, and you know, we'll, we'll probably bring that up for a later a later episode. But uh, let us know if you've been enjoying this. If you've just been enjoying yeah. the conversation that me and Rakai have had and the way we chop it up. You'll be a friend of the channel and hit that subscription button. And, of course, give us that thumbs up because that's how the people know you're digging what we're giving you. And listen, for real, and I mean this with, with all sincerity. If you want to, if you want to get a hold of Rakai's rookie card now while the price is low, you need to go on head on over to Rakai's page. Rakai, tell the people how they get in contact with you. Listen, come on through, and he ain't lying. Cause right now, right now, you're getting in on the ground floor. Y'all just don't even know it. <laughs> ain't nowhere to go but up. And right now, yes, to get that shiny rookie card, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> cover it up. It's got the gold, the foil, and the glitter in it. Like, you need to get on, on with this. <laughs> Come over to my YouTube page. Come to my Patreon. On my Patreon, I do early access to my videos. Mm -hmm. I shout out all my patrons mm -hmm. or whatever. I got some videos up. I got always more on the way for, you know, a deeper dive into a lot of these things that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Come on through at Noop from Deville. N U P E F R O M D A V I L L E. Because all about this and this right here. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Hey, let us know in the comments what we got right, what we got wrong. And the fun one is always a what did we miss? Thank you so much for your time. And we'll catch you all on the next episode. All right, y'all. Take care. Peace.